American Quakers such as Amy and Isaac Post were key members of the anti-slavery and women's rights movements in the 19th century. In Rochester, the Post's home on Sophia Street was a frequent stop for enslaved African Americans seeking freedom on the Underground Railroad. The Post's encouraged African American leader Frederick Douglass to settle in Rochester and supported his work as a writer, lecturer, and newspaper editor. Douglass wrote, They never seemed to ask, What will the world say? but walked straight forward in what seemed to them the line of duty, please or offend whomsoever it might. Amy Post encouraged fellow Quaker Susan B. Anthony in her struggle for women's rights. She assisted Anthony in gathering signatures and winning public support for giving women the right to vote. When their outspoken actions became too radical for even the local Quaker leadership, the Posts and Anthony left the church, but continued to maintain their plain, simple lifestyles and dedication to equality. 